Let's play some sweet tunes and let's add a custom music disc to Minecraft. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom music disc to Minecraft. Now, this actually, after adding the sounds, is a very straightforward process. So the first thing we need to do is, of course, register a new sound. So for that, we're just going to duplicate the citrine lamp fall here. And we're going to rename this to bar underscore brawl. Same here, bar underscore brawl. And that is pretty much the, well, sound event registered. Now let's open the sounds JSON once again. And I will copy over what we need to have here and then explain. This is, of course, also available to you in the description below. Get a repository and individual gist as well. Once again, as you can see, the name here has to match the name here. That's very important. And then you can see that this has the sounds list and we're defining the particular sound. So this is the name of the sound that we're going to add inside of our folder in just a moment. And then very important that stream is set to true because of course our well sound or our music in this case is a stream. So the bar brawl OGG, once again, make sure that this is a proper OGG file and very important that this is in mono once again. If it's not in mono, if it's in stereo, then it's going to be played in the entire world. So it doesn't matter how far away you are from the jukebox, it will play everywhere. So highly recommend making sure that this is in mono and then everything should be fine. So for the actual music disc, we of course also need an item. So in our mod items class, I'm just going to copy over the Kaupen bow and we're then going to create the actual music disc. So this is the bar underscore brawl underscore record. And then actually let's call it music underscore disc. That's fine. And then we're going to call this the bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disc as well. Now this is actually a record item. So they just renamed the name basically of the class. The first parameter here is going to be an integer, which is the comparator value. So basically if you put a comparator next to it, what well, what is going to be the value that is being displayed there. And then the second parameter is the mod sounds dot bar brawl dot get. Actually, we don't need to use the get. I believe we can also do it like this. Yes, because I believe that when we take a look at this, we actually want a supplier and then we can just put in the bar brawl without doing the get there as well. Now, we don't want any durability here. That's kind of important. What we do want is we want a sax to one. And that should pretty much be all that we need for the registration of this actual item. Now, what's very interesting is the translation here. So if we go into the en underscore us JSON file, we actually want two things translated here. And that is, as you can see, the music disk. So this is the name of the item. And then we have the description in this case, this is the well description that is being displayed below the item. So it's sort of a built in tooltip that is already there. And yeah, that's pretty much the translation done. Now let's also add the item model. This is just a normal item model file, as you can see, this points to a texture here. And then let's also add the texture, of course, but this is also just not a normal texture, nothing too crazy about it. And that is pretty much all that we need to do to add the music disc to Minecraft. Fairly straightforward, all things considered. So now let's listen if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. As you can see, the bar brawl music disc has been successfully added to the game. Let's see if I put it into the jukebox. There we are, the music is playing and let's just fly away a little bit and it should get quieter and quieter until at some point it is no longer to be heard. And then if I, you know, once again, go further in, there you go. So that's actually how easy it can be to add a music disc and once again, make sure that it is a proper OGG file that is in mono, and then it should work totally fine. So that's pretty cool. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And special golden thanks go out to MC Arctic for actually supporting me with the gold block tier. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.